Hey there everyone, so OpenAI has finally released their open source model. It is named GPT OSS. So there are two models, GPT OSS 120B and GPT OSS 20B. The actual sizes are not the exact same as the naming, we'll be getting into that. So according to them, they outperform similarly sized open models in reasoning tasks and demonstrate strong tool use capabilities. They were trained using the same techniques that were used for O3 and other frontier systems in the OpenAI labs. So today we'll be talking about GPT OSS 120B model, which according to OpenAI performs very close to OpenAI O4 mini when it comes to core reasoning tasks. This model can run in a single 80 GB GPU. So the GPU that they are talking about is Nvidia H100 or there could be any GPU that has, you know, 80 GB of RAM. So since it's an open source model, we have even more information about the models. If we talk about GPT OSS 120B model, you can see it has 36 layers and the exact size is 117 billion total parameters. Any given time for predicting the next token, it uses 5.1 billion parameters. It has total 128 experts and for every next token to be predicted, it uses 4 experts out of this 128. The context length is 128K, which is kind of lower side of the things when we talk about today's models, which are giving you up to 256K of context length. Something that you have to be aware of is these models are mostly trained on English and they are trained using text only data set. So these are not multimodal models. They are text only models and most of the training data was focused on STEM coding and general knowledge. Now let's look into some benchmarks. So if you look at code forces competition, you can see the best model was O4 mini scoring 2719 GPT OSS 120B scores slightly lower with 2622 or and this is with the tools. You might be wondering why O4 mini is better than O3 as well. You can see it is a slight improvement. The reason is, you know, these competition coding scenarios depend very heavily on math. So as you know, O4 mini is very good in math. So its performance is good in code forces competition as well. Let's look at other benchmarks. If you look at humanity's last exam benchmark, O4 mini with tools scores 17.7, whereas GPT OSS 120B with tools scores even higher, scoring 19. If you look at max, you can see the performance is very good in AIME 2024. O4 mini scores 98.7 and GPT OSS scores 96.6. Whereas in AIME 2025 with tools, O4 mini scores at 99.5 nearly saturating the benchmark and GPT OSS 120B scores slightly lower 97.9. Talking about reasoning, you can see O4 mini scores 81.4 and GPT OSS 120B scores slightly lower 80.1. So it is a smaller model and cheaper model compared to O4 mini but according to the benchmarks it shows that it performs on par with O4 mini. Again, you can see in MMLU benchmark, O4 mini scores 93 and GPT OSS scores 90. Again, you can see a neck to neck performance with O4 mini. When it comes to functional calling, you can see O4 mini scores 65.6 and this time GPT OSS 120B actually surpasses it with 67.8, showing that the function calling of this model is nice. Talking about function calling, you have to remember that these models can actually use tools like web search and Python code execution within their reasoning traces, just like how O3 does. Okay, so these were the benchmarks. Let's look what happened in my testing. So you can see I have tested these models on four very hard questions. The models that you see here are the only models who are able to solve these questions. Any other model are not able to do that. So these are very, very hard questions. These questions are available in problem collection and in reasoning problems, you can see all these questions are mentioned. Let's talk about the first question, 64 tennis player. Let me show you that question. So you can see this is the question. The correct answer is option A, 9 and 13. Let's see how they have performed. We'll be focusing on O4 mini high and the GPT OSS 120B model. You can look at other models as well for their scores. If we talk about the best performing model, it is OpenAI O3 and Grok 4 scoring a 10 out of 10. By the way, if you don't know, we try these questions for a total of 10 times and we note down how many times it has got it right. So O3 and Grok 4 have got it 10 out of 10. So every single time they got it right. Talking about O4 mini high, let's see how it, it scored. So it scored just 3 out of 10, showing that how difficult this question is for, you know, the small efficient reasoning model. What about GPT OSS? It scored a 6 out of 10. Absolutely insane. Let's move on to the next question. And that is seating arrangement, one of the hardest questions that I have. So you can see this is the question. And the reason it is hard is you can't just respond with the correct option. You also have to mention the correct arrangement. So let's see how the model perform in this. Talking about O4 mini high, it scores 
टू आउट ऑफ टेन रिमेंबर गाइज दिस इज अ वेरी हार्ड क्वेश्चन एंड द हाइएस्ट इज फ्रॉम ग्रॉक फोर स्कोरिंग सेवन एंड ओ थ्री स्कोरिंग सिक्स कमिंग इन द सेकेंड प्लेस सो यू नो इट्स अ हार्ड क्वेश्चन वट अबाउट द जी पी टी ओ एस एस वन ट्वेंटी बी मॉडल इट स्कोर्स वन आउट ऑफ टेन सो नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम वेर इट एक्चुअली फॉल्स बिहाइंड ओ फोर मिनी हाई लेट्स मॉन्ट टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज जर्सी नंबर इट इज द हार्डेस्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई करंटली हैव एंड यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्वेश्चन प्रिटी लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू एक्चुअली रेस्पॉन्ड विद द करेक्ट जर्सी नंबर ऑफ द पर्सन एज यू कैन सी इफ यू लुक एट इन If you look at the responses, you can see the highest that any model has scored is deep sea carbon, scoring two out of ten, and rest all models score one or zero. What about O4 mini high? O4 mini high scores a two out of ten again, so it is one of the highest when it comes to this particular question. What about the open source model? It scores a zero. So now you can see again O4 mini high is higher. then gpt oss 120b moving on to the final navy designation question you can see this is the question again a pretty long question you have to assign designation to the correct person and you can see this is the answer the models have to respond with this exact answer so that they get a point if you look at the scores o4 mini high scores just 4 out of 10 the highest being grok scoring a 10 out of 10 O4 mini high scores a 4 out of 10. What about the open source model? The open source model scores just 1 out of 10. Now you can see the first question was an outlier where O4 mini high was behind the open source model but in rest of the questions it was comfortably ahead. Looking at the total scores it is 11 out of 40 for O4 mini high and 8 out of 40 for the open source model. Now if we sort the models by score you can see the top model is grok for reasoning scoring 27 followed by o3 and you can look at the list so this open source model doesn't surpass the o4 mini high model but it is slightly better than deep sea carbon 0528 and quen 3 235b a22b which are both open source model so we can say that the 120b model even though being small is one of the good models in the open source community as per the claim the model being equal to o4 mini high i don't think that is the case o4 mini high is still reasonably ahead than this model now let's do a coding competition between these two models and before we get into the coding competition let's look at the pricing so you can see o4 mini high is priced at 1.10 dollars per million input tokens and 4.40 dollars per million output tokens and for gpt oss 120b there is not a fixed price because there are a lot of providers but if we talk about the cheapest provider you can see it is mentioned as 0.10 dollars per million input tokens and 0.50 dollars per million output tokens so it is somewhere around 8 times cheaper than o4 mini high itself and given its price it performs very good so having said that let's get into the coding section okay so we have o4 mini high towards our left and gpt oss 120b towards our right so the first question is can you draw a dragon in a web page using html css and js show side view of the dragon and give your best implementation in one single code let's send this to both models and we'll wait for the responses and now you can see the inference speed of gpt oss 120b is blazing fast it is already done within a second whereas o4 mini high is taking its time because if you you know head over to the providers let me actually show you that meanwhile when o4 mini high is generating you can see grok says that the throughput is 1000 tokens per second and if you look at all the providers it is very close to 100 or above it in most of the cases okay we have the responses from both models let's start off with o4 mini high let's open up html viewer let's paste that and preview it so again you can see the response is not that good and it is kind of expected with open ai's model they are not very good in aesthetically pleasing responses and front end you know design and this is something that they are going to fix with gpt5 so we'll be doing a thorough testing of the model that will be released in gpt5 so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel and have the notification bell to all so that you get the latest leaks and rumors and updates about the ai space having said that let's move on to gpt oss let's copy the code open up html viewer let's paste that let's preview it okay so we see nothing that is kind of insane let me turn it into full screen okay we don't see anything guys i mean o4 mini's response was actually bad and this open source model has taken it to the another level so comparatively i have to say that o4 mini is better in this one and i think this helps you understand that we should not be doing much of the front end design testing should focus more on python based responses even though 
we'll be doing one more question in the front end department that is build the absolute best implementation of the super mario game in a web page without using any external assets and in one single code let's send this to both models so now you can see o4 mini i is done and gpt oss is still generating so based on the providers your response and experience can vary okay we have got the responses from both models let's start off with o4 mini let's copy the code open a paste ml viewer let's paste that and let's preview it okay we do see some rectangles but uh, okay i am able to jump guys i think this is the implementation of an enemy i am talking about the red rectangles but uh, yeah it is a very basic implementation guys a very basic implementation i am able to kill the enemies as well that is nice but uh, the implementation is very basic and it is kind of a loop i guess the game is just looping so this is what we have got from o4 mini high Again, as we know, these models are not very good in front-end design. Let's see GPT OSS. Let's open up HTML viewer. Let's preview it. Okay. So I would say comparative, it looks like a better response. I'll have to say that there is some implementation of coins as well. As you can see, there are coins on the platform. I think this is the way to win, guys. Let's see. It says you win. So comparatively, it is a better response, guys. I'll have to say that when it comes to looks, I would like the detailing that O4 Mini has come up with. But talking about making the game work comparatively the open source model was better but i have to admit that both were actually terrible so i be, i think we'll not be doing more front end questions in this and we'll be mostly focusing on python based responses so let's look at that also i am i think i will select grok as the provider guys just to show you the inference speed that we have there are many fast providers other than grok as well like cerebras and bassitin something like that so you can use whichever you want we'll be using grok just look at the response speed having said that guys let's move on to a question write a python code for a hollow circle with an opening there are two balls inside it and whenever a ball exits two new balls appear so let's send this to both models and let's look at the speed of gpt oss you can see blazing fast inference guys blazing fast inference it takes just few seconds to complete the response o4 mini has not even started to give you a response and meanwhile GPT OSS is done. So if there is any workflow where speed is important to you, you can obviously go with GPT OSS, but it's a text only model. You have to remember that. Okay, we have got the responses. Let's start off with O4 mini high. Let's copy the code. Let's paste that and let's run it. Okay, we have two balls. We also have volume. That is nice. I don't know where the ball exits. There is no exit, I guess. The opening is mentioned over here, guys, but nothing happens when a ball tries to exit from here it just bounces back as you can see so let's look at gpt oss response if it's better then we'll give a point to oss or else we can you know give a feedback to these models so let's paste the code and immediately we don't see any kind of errors let's run it okay that didn't run guys that was a fail so let's actually paste this error to oss and we'll send this and we'll also give a feedback to o4 mini high we'll mention the opening is visible but the ball is not able to exit it and even within the time we are sending a prompt to o4 mini high the open source model is done guys let's actually copy the code and let's try it let's see if it's actually fixed let's run it okay we have two balls but there is no opening guys and also on a single bounce the game actually exited let's run this again okay so it's clearly a fail guys o4 mini was clearly better it gave us a working response without any crashes or anything like that we have got the updated code so let's try it let's see what happens when a ball exits okay two new balls appear nice let's see what happens okay we have two new balls so clearly guys we have to give a point to o4 mini high whereas gpt oss was not able to do it even in the first try or in the second try when we gave it a feedback so that is a win for o4 mini high let's move on to the next question write a python program that simulates earth rotation so let's send this to both models and let's look at the responses now you can again see the blazing fast inference with grok and it's already done okay this time around o4 mini i is also being fast i do like the formatting guys you can see o4 mini i has just given us a code whereas you can see the open source model it says what will you need and it says we have to pip install these libraries then it gives us the code then it gives you further ideas how it works a quick walkthrough and stuff so the formatting is i think something new with this open source models having said that we have got the responses from both so let's start off with o4 mini high let's paste the code immediately we don't see any kind of errors let's run it okay that didn't run that is a fail so we'll copy the error and paste that and we'll just say fix it and give your complete updated code let's send this meanwhile let's see the open source model let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it okay again it didn't work so these are hard questions and 
you can see the models are kind of finding it difficult to solve these so again we are mentioning the same thing please fix it and give complete updated code so for mini i is done let's copy the code let's paste that and let's run it and that didn't run guys again a fail let's look at gpt oss if it runs then we'll give a pass or else it is a fail for both of them let's paste that and let's run it okay it didn't run so you can see these models are not very good when you compare to frontier models i have recently did a comparison between cloud opus 4.1 and gemini 2.5 pro and when you look at the responses of the of those models in this particular question you will understand the difference between small and big models so that is a fail for both models let's move to the next question let's ask them to create state of the art pacman game in python let's see what they do okay we have got the responses let's start off with o4 mini high let's paste the code and let's run it okay we do have a ui but uh, i'm not able to move the pacman you know the maze is kind of good guys you know the maze design is nice but i'm not able to move the pacman so let's keep it aside and let's see what the open source model has come up with let's paste the code and immediately we have 35 errors okay that is not nice let me see it once again let's paste it 35 errors guys so i think that is a fail for both models both didn't give us a working response let's send them the final question they have to create a music equalizer so it is an interesting prompt Let's see what they come up with. Okay, we have got the response. Let's start off with O4 mini high. Let's paste the code and we have one error. Let's run it. Okay, so that didn't run guys. Let's look at GPT-4 OSS. Let's copy the code. Let's paste that. And immediately we don't see any kind of errors. That is nice. Let's run it. And that didn't run. Again, a fail from both models. So you can look at the responses guys. These models were not able to, you know, give us very good responses in the coding competition showing that you should not use these models for code generation if your task is very simple maybe it would work out but as the complexity increases these models are very prone to you know introducing bugs in your code where these models will be good at is making small edits things that you know are easy then you can use any of these models maybe you can incline towards the open source model given its very fast inference other than that if you are generating code then these models may introduce a lot of bugs so we have done a reasoning comparison and we have done a coding competition between o4 mini high and gpt oss 120b so the open source model is nice but it's not the best or the state of the art you know you can see it is not very good in coding and also the reasoning performance was not absolutely the best but given its size it is nice you know deep sea carbon is a 600 billion parameter model and i think the model that comes closest when it comes to open source is the quen 3 235b a22b so reasoning this model is good but when it comes to coding i don't think it this model is very good so i hope i was able to give you detailed information about the open source model and whether it is as good as o4 mini high or not the answer is no there are lot many models that are going to release in this week and we'll be testing all of them so please do make sure you have hit the like button subscribe to my channel and most importantly hit the notification bell to all so that you get latest information about whatever is happening in the ai space you can see through my posts i try to give the most up to date information you can see even before the release based on the rumors i said that the open source model will be released today and thursday gpt5 will be released so we are not sure about this thursday release but you get it i try to bring the latest information to you through my posts so make sure you have hit the notification bell to all with that being said that's it for today guys i'll catch you guys in the next one